Hi, welcome to Multi-Step Equations Day 3. And today we're going to be doing some multi-step multi equations that have negative integer answers. So let's dive in. So when we're solving a multi-step equation, we're trying to get x by itself so that we can get x on one side and then the value of x on the other side. We do that by eliminating parts of the equation using the inverse operations. And the inverse operations are negative and, sorry, not negative, um, multiplying and dividing are inverse operations of each other, and adding and subtracting are inverse operations of each other. So let's dive into an example. I just said dive in twice, so that's, that's funny. Okay, um, so I like to eliminate on the left side first, and but like I said before, you could do either side. So I'm gonna eliminate that negative four by adding four, and that becomes zero. But then I have to add four to the other side. Okay, so I get two x equals x, and then keep the sign of the larger digit, which is eight, subtract them, which is four. Okay, now I need to get rid of this x so that there's no x's over here. So I'm gonna subtract x, this becomes zero. Subtract x from that side to keep it balanced. Two minus one is x, and we're left with my, uh, negative four on this side. So that is our answer. There's no more x by itself, so we don't have to do that last operation that we often do have to do, okay? Okay, let's look at one more example. And in this example, um, Let's start with eliminating the x first. So over here, we can get rid of this negative 2x by adding 2x. This becomes 0. And we add 2x over here. So 3 plus 2x is going to be 5x plus 1. Just bringing that down. And that's 0. And then we have negative 9. Now we need to eliminate this plus one, so we subtract one. That becomes zero. We're left with five x on this side. And then we have to do the same thing over here. Same signs, add, keep the sign. So we have negative 10. Our last operation left here is this five times x. We do the inverse of multiplying, which is dividing. And we're left with x, which is what we're trying to do. And then we have to divide the other side by the same number. Um, a negative divided by a positive will be a negative. So 10 divided by 5 is 2. x equals negative 2. Okay, so that's our last example. I hope that helps you out when you're doing your work, and we'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.